Hello, friends from Link 2021. I'm Ana Carolina, Brazilian. I'm doing a PhD in the city of Porto, Portugal, at the Faculty of Fine Arts. I'm also an art therapist and arts teacher. I'm very glad to be here and I thank you for your attention. I'm going to share with you a video by the Japanese director Kurazawa. The name of the film is Dreams, where uh, we can observe a young man visiting the Van Gogh Museum and performing what Gaston Bachelard, who is an author of the studies of the imaginary, calls reverie, and which is something that approaches the topic of our conversation. In the film, the viewer dives into Van Gogh's canvas, letting his imagination play so that he practically has an experience of, as if he had walked through the same places as Van Gogh while Van Gogh were painting. He even has a meeting with Van Gogh. I will um, set the play now. And I had on my speech, you will understand that this part of the film has everything to do with the object of my study. I brought to Link 2021 the abstract of my research, which points to the observation of the field of the arts teaching in the capitalist system. I start from the notion that the culture of exacerbated consumption and discrimination of the subjects have resulted in imbalance and exhaustion of the planet, and also that the field of art does not constitute an autonomous system in relation to this. Instead, what we see is that the processes of formation of the subjects is also created through exclusion and discrimination, which are modes of the neoliberalist regime. So um, in my point of view, the educational system seems to impose a Promethean education, which is linked to the notion of civility and progress and uh, where feeling, sensitivity and imagination stay in second place or where the poetic state is relegated to the background and restricted to literature. It is then immersed on this critique, because I'm also a teacher, as I said before, that my interest is to search for pedagogies that can deviate from traditional educational modes. And then in this search, I found uh, the thought of Gilbert Durand, who is a French anthropologist, who proposes to rethink the dichotomy between reason and imagination present in westernized culture and in the educational systems. Gilbert Durand is an author who developed a theory for the sphere of the human imagination. As we know, uh, commonly, the term imaginary has different meanings. We can easily listen to someone referring to the aspects of the imaginary as something that does not exist or that which is like daydreaming, a fiction, etc. The imaginary is almost always defined as something that is opposed to the real or as that which is not present. There is another uh, author, uh, Bonin Bouget. He's also from the imaginary studies. And uh, he says that this common idea results from the fact that the image constitutes a mixed category that lies between the concrete and the abstract between the real and the thought, which is also imagined, between what we can feel and what we can understand intellectually. But Gilberto Hunt criticizes the devaluation of the image and the imaginary in westernized culture, which is something that began with the monotheistic religions prohibiting the creation of images and which was extended through the different forms of rationalisms from the Greeks to our days. So for Duha, the imaginary is a constitutive element of the specific behavior of human beings, 
And it is also important, an important factor of psychosocial balance, because it is through imagination that the whole process of symbolization, signification, and de-alienation of human thought takes place. It is based on the notion that imaginary and rationality are not antagonistic psychic spheres, that Duhan organizes the idea of the pedagogy of the imaginary. He proposes the reunion of rational and poetic forms of culture based on the re-evaluation of the imaginative function in education and the reflection on the purpose and meaning we have given to life and education. And what I think most interesting in his thought is that the pedagogy of imaginary is not a set of teaching techniques or strategies. It is not a discipline whose content deals with imagination or creativity. The idea is that it is not possible to teach how to imagine, but to stimulate the imagination, as I already mentioned previously. You know, um, the pedagogy of imaginary is a concept or a debate that has been expanded and discussed in the field of education. But how can we bring these reflections and critics to the field of the arts teaching? How can we think a pedagogy of the imaginary in this context? What stimulates my research is to think about the problem of imagination in the field of pedagogy, and specifically the pedagogies that have been practiced in the field of art. What challenges can the pedagogy of the imaginary problematize in the field of arts education? How are we confronted by this? How can this reflection point to other horizons? The field of artistic education is in itself a space of instability and contradiction. The creation of a pedagogy of the imaginary will certainly not create a block of knowledge, a closed, well-established theory. Teaching will always pose different problems, different issues, different challenges. But I think that the pedagogy of the imaginary can act as a trigger uh, for a transformation in the scope of art education. Another important thing to mention is that the pedagogy of the imaginary proposes learning from oneself so that the term pedagogy in itself can be blurred when we reflect upon this. There is much still to, to, to discuss, to reflect, to debate. Um, but I begin to close my speech now. I hope you could perceive that the young man visiting the museum is all of the time in the museum's room. His imagination travels uh, through the reverie in Van Gogh's images. It is traveling still, as we can, as we can see. Um, we're going to watch the video until the end, which is close. We've got just some more minutes.
is after Van Gogh. Looking for him inside his, his pictures, his paintings. And there he is, back to the museum room. So I thank you so much. Um, look forward to, to talking to you during Link 2021. Bye-bye.